Oh, that's spicy. Uh, oh boy, I'm burning. Woo! Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are about to hit the road. We're gonna go to BBQ Chicken. That's right, BB.Q Chicken in Toronto, Ontario. I think it's technically North York, but Toronto. And it's not barbecue chicken though. This is a Korean fried chicken chain actually originating from Korea, and they just recently got a location in Toronto. So that's super cool. I can't wait to try that out. So here we are to do an absolutely insane, we're talking the biggest chicken challenge ever. That's right, guys. This is the biggest chicken challenge I've ever seen of any type. We have over 80 pieces of Korean fried chicken. And some of those are deathly, 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 deathly spicy. Did I say very spicy? So apparently this is going to be absolutely insane. That's over 12 pounds of chicken. Plus I believe there's sides. They have um, some really cool like different fries and coleslaws and uh, cheese balls. So a number of Korean delicacies. We're gonna have some great food, I'm sure. So essentially I think it's gonna be like 80 minutes for this challenge because it's absolutely massive. So fingers crossed, wish us luck, we'll go get there momentarily and I'll get you some more details, but at that, let's go. All right, everyone, so here we are with the chicken. Absolutely massive. This thing is smelling. Fantastic, fantastic. But seriously, so like 80 pieces of fried chicken, so many different flavors, so many in fact that I'm here with Mr. Evan. Evan is one of the managers here and he's going to walk us through what we have going on here. So tell me about these flavors because there is a lot of them. All right, so we do have eight flavors here. I'll start from the left side. Okay. So this one is secret sauce red one. Okay. And then this one is the uh, kalbi, like a traditional kalbi, a Korean kalbi sauce. Okay. Honey girly. Okay. Cheese wing, original. Nice. Stir fried. Okay. This is the gangjeong. Gangjeong is one of the Korean traditional sauces. Well. Okay. This one is the mara. So this is the spicy one. Mm -hmm. one, spicy of, one. one of the spicy ones. Yes, one of them. I'll bring the, the next spicy one to you. So if we can get through this, there is an absolutely other layer of spice and pain coming our way, but it should be really, really good. Also some cheese like fries. We have some Korean prawn sticks, is that right? Yes, this is the prawn stick. So these look really good. And we also have cheese balls. All right. I like it. So it's not the traditional thing. It's like a modern day kind of mix it up. So I it's like it. kind of uh, popular. Nice. And then corn salad, coleslaw, and pickled radish. Yes. What you said is a quintessential, essential thing with mm -hmm. Korean fried chicken. Korean, no, Korean fried chicken with that uh, the radish. Yeah. Always. And, and then beer. And then beer. <laughs> hey, well, at that, we might as well get started, guys. This looks absolutely delicious. So lots of fried chicken, specifically Korean fried chicken, and specifically the best of the best quality chicken. So. Let's get started. So I got some gloves as well. I think gloves is a definite good addition. Um, besides that, we also got the very spicy chicken here. So spicy, we left it on its own on a side here. This might be a little interesting to say the least, but I'm very excited. This looks fantastic. So let me throw these gloves on and let's get eaten some fried chicken. I do have a uh, bucky, I got some bone container there. So, where do we start is the question. All right, let's start with what would be, let's do the original. Look at that, just look at it, looks gorgeous. All right, so I'll say, oh. We have a timer on screen, roughly. Anyway, we'll start with the count of five, four, let's say three, two, one, let's eat some chicken. 
Oh. Okay. That's delicious. We're in for a hell of a treat. Beautifully crispy. Very, very moist. Lovely spice on it. I'm trying to think if I can name that spice. Whatever it is, it's very good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at BB dot q chicken that's right so not barbecue but best of the best quality chicken a chain originating in korea and now a location here in toronto ontario which is pretty dang cool so here we are doing this absolutely massive insane korean fried chicken challenge so this place is known for their excellent korean fried chicken and i will say not only was it exceptional it was oh my gosh just like per perfection and i will say though some of it was deathly deathly spicy so a huge chicken challenge and a huge spicy challenge seriously though great flavors so for this challenge, there was over 80 pieces, that's right, 8 zero, 80 pieces of Korean fried chicken in a variety of different flavors, um, featuring uh, kind of as we introduced a variety of very authentic Korean styles, um, kind of some more traditional styles, but nonetheless, absolutely delicious and a large variety of different kinds of chicken. And what else is pretty cool? Mm. Mm. Oh man, I'm getting some of these sauces on these pieces. Wow. Fantastic taste. The nice thing is all this is available boneless as well as boned, so that's pretty cool. Alright, cheeseling. This is literally cheese dusted fried chicken. Mm. Woo! Damn. Mm. Honestly? That is fantastic. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. The funny thing, so I'm not usually the biggest cheese person, but this is amazing. I didn't know cheese on fried chicken could taste so damn good. I can say, I can honestly say, I think this is the first cheese item I'm ever going to recommend. This is fantastic. Mm. Mm. Like, really fantastic. There you go, everybody. Cheese covered fried chicken. It is fantastic. I was about to say amazing. This is this is a this is a half to try. Wow. Eating the bone. Holy crap though. 
So we also had 80 minutes to complete this challenge, and I definitely knew that we would need all that time. It may seem like a high time limit, but guys, we had over 12 pounds of chicken alone, plus all the different sides. Like, that is a huge, huge, huge amount of food. Um, as I mentioned, it also was uh, bone in, so it creates like an extra time, right? So you have to uh, take time to get the food off the bone. You can't just plow it in your mouth like something soft. That's ridiculous, like ridiculously good. So with the sheer volume and again the actual technique to get the edible portion off the bone, I definitely knew we would need a lot of time. Um, with that being said, uh, the cuts of the chicken, um, I definitely took as much edible portion as I could off of all of them. I was definitely trying to be diligent of that. The pieces that you see here in the Korean fried chicken, like the different cuts, are a little different than sometimes you might see in, uh, let's say, like a Kentucky fried chicken or a Popeye's. So you definitely still have your drumsticks. Um, the breasts are cut a little differently. Uh, the wings are just cut the same. But regardless, I cleaned every piece to the best of my ability. I have cheese on my face. Mm. That was crazy. Crazy fantastic. Mm. So I'm trying to turn my camera again. I feel like I moved it somehow. Mm. All right. Wow. W O W. Wow. Honey garlic. Mm. The honey garlic. They actually hand brushed on a chicken too. Hand brushed. That's dedication. So three out of the nine uh, flavors we had were spicy. Um, the two being like deathly spicy, noted with like the three chili pepper emblems, whereas the other one was two chili peppers, so still hot. Beautiful crisp. That sweetness. Like a poison. Flavor. I figured I would try to save the spicier chicken for last because um, I just think like although it, it does get harder like the more you eat so always like what you eat at the end is going to be harder to eat than what you eat at the beginning. I think you know like again I knew this was going to take a lot of time so I think burning like having my mouth burn and being in that kind of discomfort for that duration would be much worse. So that was my strategy at least of course so I have to ultimately see how it plays out but that kind of answers a question I've had people when I've done spicy uh, foods or challenges before be like why don't you do it in small bits or etc etc because with the level of spice that these chicken had um, like if I again was to have done that I would just consistently have been burning and been in discomfort for however long this was going to take rather than kind of again saving it towards the end being in discomfort for a shorter amount of time um, well, or at least like I should say a discomfort for and not have to eat more for a shorter amount of time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my strategy that I was going with beyond that. I will say um, the absolute fate, like that that uh, cheese chicken, the cheeseling chicken was absolutely phenomenal. And I said it in the video, but I really mean it. You like that, that is a must try. That is like, I'm not a big cheese fan, but that is seriously an item I was so impressed with. It was so delicious. Um, also the uh, other kinds of chicken, the, even just the plain Korean fried chicken they had here was just like fantastic. They have the techniques down to an absolute T. The ingredients are, ingredients are coming from Korea. Like everything was just, it was honestly freaking awesome. It, like the food was just awesome. Um, besides that, um, I was going to try to get most of the chicken down and then move on to the sides um, and use them kind of as tools if I needed to like ultimately mix it up as, you know, ultimately eating a lot of fried chicken back to back is quite, um, well, it's not monotonous per se. It is a little, well, it's a little monotonous, I guess, but the flavors at least were changing, which was really nice. So that enabled me to kind of be able to eat all that chicken back to back. And I did have the ingredients it's like the pickled radish as a palate cleanser if needed. Try some pickled radish. Mm. This is a good palate cleanser. Mm. Very good. Mm. All right, these are two spicy ones. Here we got a secret sauce and then a like galbi. This looks delicious. Very delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. It has a really nice smoky flavor. It 
It's very, it's sweet. Very nice, thick, rich sauce. But a really nice smoky flavor. I like smoky flavor. This galbi was also another favorite of mine. It was definitely a flavor I had never had before, although I do understand uh, it is quite a common flavor in Korean cuisine. Um, but yeah, like I was like, saying, it was just like, it was a sweet, almost like smoky sauce. Uh, anybody who knows, I love barbecue, I love smoked items. And so it was really interesting, although this was definitely not like a smoked chicken, this was a, a fried chicken, um, just having that smoky sauce on it had such a nice accent. It really brought back some of like my familiar and favorite flavors in that regard. So definitely I'd also recommend trying the Galbio. Um, just absolutely fantastic. And again, I have to actually give a huge shout out to like just how nicely crisp and cook this chicken was. It was moist, it was juicy. I really like this one too. Definitely not like the flavor I had before. Like I said, kind of like, it's just like a sweet smoky. Let's just say I was at a loss of words for other descriptors. Um, what I will say though is if you're watching to this point in the video, first off, I wanna thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you watching. I love it when you guys hit that like button. It really helps the videos out, so definitely feel free to hit that like button. And of course, now guys, let's play one of our jokes on the skippers. We always love to do this. We have such funny responses. So basically, we're going to have a phrase, comment it down below, feel free to give your own rendition on it. You know, we switch it up a little bit. And that way, when somebody comes and reads the the comments they're gonna have to ultimately watch or find in the video of the subject that we talked about so for today let's switch it up a little bit comment down below nice to finally meet your wife Joel or damn Joel your wife be hotter than that chicken like I said have fun with it I'll leave it up to you comment it down below and for the record no I'm not actually married well let me rephrase that I'm married to the game married to that fried chicken life you know what I'm saying all about that chicken but I'll go as far to say in the words of Daniel Cormier I'm all about that cake and chicken. And also shout out to Derek Lewis for uh, respect and fried chicken. All right, that was fantastic. I think I'm onto the, this one now, which is the secret sauce, mm. which is a lot of people's favorites. So let me try this stir fried chicken right here. So that's some extra crispy bits on the outside. Extra crispy. That gives me like a, kind of bit of like a peanut taste almost. Mm. I've definitely seen like chicken that kind of looked like this before. This one definitely has a little more heat than some of the other two. It's quite a warm spice, but a warm heat. Mm. Mm. I need to do my pants. Wait a little bit. This is a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken. Excuse me. So moist though. So in the spirit of the Korean mukbang, and because you guys have often asked for it, I did leave more of this video playing at a normal speed, and especially the eating components of this video, so I hope you enjoyed that. You can also let me know down below what you think about that. Um, so ultimately, a huge amount of Korean fried chicken, very tasty items, very tasty food, 80 minutes. Let's ultimately tune in, see what happens, and I'll hop in here momentarily. Belt is being undone. Oh. 
Oh, a little bit more breathing room. In fact, that top button's coming undone. Oh. Oh. Oh, better. Uh. Whew, delicious. Just a lot of food. Probably about 17 out of 10. Oh. Gloves are a great idea though. Ooh, I definitely got a bit of heat though. Oh man. I mean, that, is that the heat from, I think I just got the, hold on, I can't speak. I think the heat I just got on that piece was from this sauce. I'm gonna die. I'm really gonna die. I'm realizing that right now. Oh, all right. I got a burp too. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Woo. All right. Secret sauce. Then death by spice. Mm. It's sweet and tangy. Interesting fact, these sauces, how'd you come from Korea? There's an interesting flavor in this. I think it's like a, almost like a nice or a nice. Of course, it's a secret sauce. So I don't think I'll get to know what's in it, but... Kind of like a remnants of an Asian or like Chinese spice place. A little bit. Now we're into the deathly spicy flavors right here. Oh. I'm gonna adjust my camera real quick. I'm gonna get this glove off. Where were we? <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. Hopefully the least, and then second, and then most spicy. Ooh, great flavor though. Ooh, spicy. All right, this got some like bird's eye chilies or something in it. This is uh, this is this one has heat, and these ones are hotter. Jeez Louise.
Maybe we'll use this as some container for some bombs. Ah. All right, last piece of this one, and then we're on to the first round of Deathly Spicy. Second round of Deathly Spicy. Woo. All right, oh. wish me luck, wish me luck. Trying to swallow a bone. All right. Woo. Definitely has some good heat. Very peppery tasting. A black pepper. But then there's a lot of heat with it. Woo. Warm spice is very warming. Excuse me. At least I'm very warming right now. There's a few reasons for that. Ugh. Ugh. That's hot. Ugh. Very hot. We're gonna try some coleslaw. Ooh. Cut the heel a bit. Put this camera back on. Oh. Oh. All right. If I had to guess, I'd say like 30, four or five minutes into eating. Oh my gosh. So much. So much spice on that chicken. It's really good, but oh boy, a lot of chicken, a lot of heat though. If y'all like spicy chicken, hit this up. Hit this up. Oh my gosh. Woo. It's definitely kicking my butt.
Boy, oh boy. Spicy. Spicy. My nose is running. I'm gonna try not to get spice in my nose, but I think I just failed already. Uh, boy, oh boy. Uh. Try some of these other things and then come back to the chicken there. Woo! Like I said, it is kicking my butt. Oh. Spicy. Very good though. That cheeseling was fantastic. Fantastic. Radishes are just a palate cleanser, by the way. Corn salad's good. Creamy. Try these prawn sticks, shrimp sticks, tempura. So by this point in the challenge, not only was I really filling up, being like we've been eating for 41 minutes straight, but I knew that those spicy items were really going to be difficult. I find a very hard time eating spicy foods when I'm full. I find it just doesn't sit very well in my stomach, but I will say this was a lot more food than I had anticipated going into it. This was a huge challenge, and now let's get ready for all the spicy food. Oh boy. Some of these cheeseling fries. I hope I put the cheese powder on that spicy chicken. Maybe it'll help. I'm gonna be covered in this cheese stuff. It's funny, the cheese gives us a really funny coating. It's a cool texture in the mouth. Oh. Much easier to eat than the spicy chicken. Almost done the fries. A lot of cheese powder in there. I gotta give it. Those cheese and fries are also very, very good. Oh my gosh. Alright. Chicken. Almost there. Oh boy. Alright, adjust my camera, 
This will probably be pretty interesting. see what happens. Ooh, wish me luck. Wish me luck, everybody. Deathly spicy chicken. Oh. The flavor's good, but holy jump is that kicks. Woo! Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah. 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 That's spicy. Oh, a bit of cheese powder. Oh. Cheese ball. Cheesy. Mm, that's very sweet. I almost got like a uh, cheesecake or something flavor. Ooh. Here comes the nose again. Boy, that's this. I just can't touch my face right now. Oh. Almost done. Oh boy, I'm burning. Woo! Oh my gosh. Woo. All right, we're almost there. A couple cheese balls. That's about it. Woo. That is so spicy though. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh. Uh. 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 This is a way. Yes, there's like a fryer too, like a uh. I'm gonna half fry it in the hot sauce. I'm not gonna eat, I'm gonna die if I do. <coughs> uh. 
Oh my gosh, that was spicy. Oh, oh fine. Oh. Oh. Ah. Down a couple cheese balls. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm dying, bro. Right, that was that was spicy. It built up the last couple. Mm. And the last, uh, last four pieces. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> and the ones before that. It was good, but man, oh, it's spicy. Oh, kick in my butt. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's try to get these cheese balls down. Oh man, got my sinus running and everything. Woo! Oh. Trying not to snot all over the place. Oh my gosh. Oh, excuse me. Oh man. All right. Almost there. Woo. Oh, man, there's a burning in my chest though. Oh. Oh my gosh, whoo! Best of the best quality chicken. That was that right there. Delicious chicken. Absolutely loved it. Oh yes, bb.q. Stands for best of the best quality. It was fantastic. I tell you, those chickens were freaking ridiculous. The cheese ling chicken was absolutely fantastic. I have to give a huge, huge applaud to that. I was not expecting that to be so good. With that everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely, like I said, a lot of food. That was a heck of a challenge, but absolutely very much enjoyed it. Oh, besides that, the original fried chicken was great. The honey garlic was great. Everything was fantastic. Really enjoyed the flavors. Oh, but some of the, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, some of those, I tell you, they got a kick. So I'll be looking for some hot chicken, looking for some delicious Korean fried chicken, looking for the best of this quality chicken. Definitely come check out BB.Q Chicken in Toronto here. A huge thanks to staff, they've been very accommodating, they've been very friendly. Great food, great place. That's about it. A lot of food, really, really good. The uh, corn salad is really good as well. But uh, that's about it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Pickle relish, pens my clot, cleanse my palate. No, I can't speak. Woo! But very delicious. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, drop a like down below. Really, I, I really appreciate it. When I see the likes go up, it really keeps me motivated to do videos like this. You guys want something spicy for a while, so we're doing something spicy. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you like more spicy and want more spicy, comment down below as well. And everybody, that's about it. I appreciate you. I appreciate your continued support. You guys rock. So thank you, everybody. Until next time, of course, stay happy out there and happy eating. Spicy, oh man, that spicy chicken. Also, I just wanted to mention, we have such a beautiful large family here on YouTube, 
but much smaller families on Facebook and Instagram. So be sure to check out the links in the description to follow me on those things as well. That way you never miss a beat and you get the most content possible. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's going to end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.